What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. We have two missions today. Two things to get done before we get started on the Evo E. First thing we need to do is go get our freaking brake rotors. Second thing is go pick up our coilovers that we are installing on the Evo E today. They're sitting at UPS. We had them held there for pickup. So we're gonna go pick those guys up and then we can head to the shop and get to work. What we are installing today are a set of yellow speed racing coilovers on to the Hyper Blue Evo 8. We have been running these exact coilovers on the black Evo 8 for a little bit over a year now, I believe. Absolutely love the coilovers, especially for the money. They're very, very reasonably priced and they ride amazing, handle amazing. Build quality is really, really good on them. And not to mention, they are going to be yellow and they're gonna match our new Brembo brakes that we powder coated yesterday. So super, super stoked on that as well. Before we go ahead to the coilovers on the car, we did pick up the rotors as well. I'm gonna blast them where it's all rusty and powder coat it where it's all rusty as well. Get the brake install done on the Evo 8 and then we can move on to the coilovers. Well, I guess I spoke a little too soon about this gun. Used it one time on the calipers, and now it will not spray any air. So I don't know what happened with it, but one time use and she's dead. Going back and forth from a broken red line gun to a broken Eastwood powder coat gun, we finally, finally got the brake rotors powder coated for the Evo 8. And as you guys can see from behind me, the car is finally back on the ground, finally back in one piece for the most part. There's still obviously some missing pieces here. We do need to get the mirrors on, door handles on, headlights built. We have a lot of work to do, but what I wanna do tonight is install these set of coilovers. Right off the bat, if you guys want to pick up a set of these coilovers, I do have a discount code. The discount code is DVNEMO10. It'll save you 10% off over at Yellow Speed Racing. So all said and done, the coils that we're putting on this car after the discount code brings it down to about $900. We got the coilovers opened up. So these things come with 8K front springs from Yellow Speed and then 7K rears. Fronts do have adjustable camera plates. They are 33 way adjustable dampening. So you can either make them pretty dang soft or pretty dang hard, all depending on what you want, what you're using the car for. If you're tracking it, if you're just daily driving it like, like we do. The rears do have aluminum upper mounts with hardened rubber bushings, which I believe they put the hardened rubber bushing in there to help reduce some of the noise. If you're a stance boy, these coils do go pretty dang low. If you've seen the black Evo 8, you know that car sits pretty low. It can probably go an inch lower from what the Evo 8's at right now. So we can go super, super low, or you can raise them way up and ride, probably not quite as high as stock, but pretty dang close to as high as factory. Let's go ahead and get started installing the coilovers. We're gonna start with the front. Let's pull off the bumper, jack up the front of the car, pull the wheels back off, pull off the factory suspension, which I'm pretty sure is blown out because this thing does not ride good whatsoever. And we can get the yellow speed coils installed. So on the front of the car, how you get the stock suspension off, there are three 14 millimeter nuts up top. These three right here. These two bolts right here, both are 19 millimeter. And then typically there would be a bracket on the back side of the strut, that little bracket right there, but nothing is connected to that. ABS line should be connected and the brake line should be connected to that, but it's not. We just got the factory strut off. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison. You can see how much smaller, thinner, skinnier, lighter, shorter the coilover is versus the stock strut. And of course it looks a million times better. So this right here is the spring preload. That should be set straight from the manufacturer. Now this lock ring down here, 
This is how you set the actual height of the car. If we thread this lower mount up and make the coil over shorter, your car will sit lower, but if we thread it all the way down, then your car is gonna sit higher, if that makes sense. Okay, we got the coilover installed. We used their supplied top hat nuts. For the lower hardware, we will be reusing our factory. So these two big bolts right here, and then if your car has the ABS and brake line bracket, reuse that as well. Being that the coilover is so much shorter than the factory strut, what we're gonna have to do is grab our jack and we're gonna jack up on that lower control arm until this right here says as high as that. Passenger side coilover is fully installed. Look how pretty that looks. All the yellow going on. Let's just go ahead and snug up this lower locking nut right now. I don't know how high or low we're gonna have the car until we get a set of wheels on it. It's always really hard to tell with factory wheels, so I always set the right height when we get our wheels on. We got the wheel back on. We're all finished up with the passenger side. Don't forget to install the damper adjustment. And this here is the camber plate. So if you wanna run negative camber, you'll loosen these four Allen heads and you'll slide this toward the engine. One thing I forgot to mention when you're installing this, make sure you have the top hat sitting like this. You don't want this slot right here facing back or forward. You wanna have it completely in line with this upper strut tower bar or else you won't have proper camber adjustment. Let's go ahead and bang out the driver's side and then we can move on to the rear. All right, here is how she looks, guys. It's probably two inches lower, I would say, inch and a half, two inches lower in the front than before. Honestly, these cars with factory wheels don't look bad, not gonna lie. So we just finished up with the front coilover install. We're gonna move on to the rear now. Let's get the rear up in the air, get the wheels off, get on jack stands, and I'll show you guys how to pull off the rear shuts. All right, we got the wheel off. There are two upper shut nuts right here, both 14 millimeter. And then down here, there is one lower strut mount. That's it. She built. Here's the beautiful yellow speed racing coilover. I think these are gonna sit pretty low, so I'm gonna spin these down. And you can't not, let me show you guys a little something. If you can see it straight through this hole, that means you threaded it down too far. So let me spin. Do these things go so high? How high do these things go? All right, so you see how you can see that yellow ring right there? That means we've threaded the lower shock mount too far, and it's obviously not gonna be safe. It'll be a little floppy and loose, so you don't wanna be able to see that. That's about as high as they can go. And then you can slam it all the way to where this is all the way right there and your car will be tucking rear tire by like six inches. So we ain't gonna go that low, we're gonna go right in between for now. Those are pretty though. Yeah, these are beautiful coils, dude. Oh shoot, I forgot my battery cable. How many Ugga Duggas? Two or three? Two Ugga Duggas. 
you are gonna hurt. All right, same concept as the front, guys. We don't really know where we are gonna have this thing sitting until we get the new wheels on, which I'm super stoked to show you guys. So I'm gonna kind of leave it just where we had it earlier. I'm gonna measure this distance between the two lock rings right here, and I'm gonna set the other rear the same distance. That's probably about two inches, two and three quarter. So that's where I'm gonna set the other rear at, and then we can adjust as soon as we get the, should I say what brand of wheel they are? Nah, I can't say what kind of wheel they are yet. But let's hit the other side and we'll be all finished up. Bleed the brakes. Should probably do oh, that before we drive. Yeah. It. Okay, let's bleed the brakes real quick. All right. So I was gonna go drive the car. I totally forgot that we put the Brembo's on, and we haven't even touched the bleeders yet. So the the brakes won't work whatsoever. Jared and I are gonna bust out the bleed real quick, get the car on the ground, and we can take it out and drive it. See how these new coilovers feel, and then tomorrow we're gonna put those wheels on that you can't see because they're too sick. Oh, is so oh my god. Come look at this. I was like, why did the wheel flop when I jacked it up? I don't think I tightened it. Yeah, I was just said it didn't sound very tight. <laughs> okay. I should probably calm down a little bit and tighten my stuff. That would have been a fun experience. Driving it like that. Dude. Come here in the morning and the car just like <laughs> sitting on the wheel. This is a Harbor Freight bleeder. It's subpar at best. Not very good, it's 20 bucks, but it does the trick. So this is a vacuum pump. So we're gonna fill up the reservoir with brake fluid. Jared is gonna pump the pedal, and then I'm gonna create a suction with this vacuum pump right here, crack the bleeder, and it's gonna suck air and fluid out at the same time. So as soon as we get done with all four with no air left in the system, we should be good to go. Let me clarify a little something, something for you guys. Every time I bleed brakes on an Evo, a lot of you comment down below that we're doing the sequence wrong. You're supposed to start from the furthest away from the reservoir, and I always thought it was the driver's rear. Turns out it's the passenger rear, so this is the actual sequence it goes. It's always gonna go outside to inside, it looks like. So passenger rear, driver's front, driver's rear, passenger front. It's a very odd sequence, but that's what we're gonna follow today based off of joe250.com, and we're gonna see how it works. Ready for a parts run already? We need more? Yeah. Bro! I just got shit on by a bird. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? What the f Is there any on my back? No, you're good. That is hilarious. Dick? So we don't Are those the same? Black cap and red cap? I don't know, I don't like that. They're different though. This should be enough for a while. Oh! Almost died. You ready, brother? Yeah. Alright, pump it. Let me get my little nipple on. Okay. Alright. Cut. There's like no air in this one. Alright, that's good. Let me go to the inner. Okay, pump it. Ooh, that was a lot of air, okay. All right, here's the plan. We got the brakes all bled up. We had a few leaks we gotta figure out, but we're good now. So we're gonna get the wheels back on the car, get on the ground, make sure everything's tight, and we're gonna go drive it. You ready? Yes, sir. You ready, boy? Let's actually tighten the leg nuts this time. Yes. We just test fitted a wheel on the car, and it looks insane. This thing, it does appear that it needs to be lowered like two or three inches. 
but it fits so are you you think it looks good i think it looks amazing i'm stoked oh yeah, oh, yeah. tomorrow tomorrow you guys will see the wheels Low, actually, it's not bad. It is. Dude, like this height right here, though, in the back for stock wheels. If we drop the front down like an inch, it would look kind of good. But we ain't gonna mess around with that. No. The rear doors right now do not lock because we don't have the handles in. So I'm gonna bungee them together or strap them together so they don't go flopping around. And we're gonna go see how good these coils ride, even though I already know they ride good. Ooh. Just that little pop, you know? A little poppy with the, with the Brembo's. <laughs> I can't wait to put the yellow wheels on. They're gonna look sick with yellow wheels. Bro! I don't have a jumper box either. Do you have cables? All right, we got it all together. Got it jumped, got it started. We're gonna go rip around the block. Obviously the car is a little bit illegal right now with no headlights, no bumper, no mirrors, no license plates. What else is illegal? This part, the color is probably illegal, I'm not gonna lie. So we're just gonna go rip around the block, test out these coilovers, make sure they ride good, and make sure we don't have any issues. Dude, I thought that was a cop at first. I was gonna say no way. Wait, is it? Uh, I can't tell, I don't see a bar yeah. or a light. to like avoid cops. Ah, dude, my heart jumped for a second. I don't have like any of my ID or wallet or insurance or nothing on me. That's a little sketch. But anyways, so these are 33 way dampening adjustable and they're set all the way off right now. So I'm definitely gonna stiffen them up a little bit, but nothing crazy because I like it. I like how it rides. Oh like yeah, it rides good. Smooth. But hell yeah, dude. I love these coils, dude. They're freaking litty. Overall, super, super stoked with these coils. If you guys want to pick up a set, 10% off. DV Nemo at 10 will save you 10% off. I'll have a link to first link down in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.